Greetings, Cryptoverse. We've got Bitcoin pumping, supported by volume. So about eight days ago or so, I made a video right about in this area, talking about Bitcoin hanging on by a thread. I knew that the news was pumping off of uh, the Fed saying they're not going to ban Bitcoin in the United States. Jerome Powell right through here. I wasn't aware about the Bitcoin ETF news. And I said, said in a recent video, there must be some kind of news out there for this to be happening. It's Bitcoin ETF. I don't watch the Bitcoin hype channels on YouTube anymore because I've watched them over the last 11 months. I've watched them run the public in to these massive bull traps. Boom, right? This is the public just getting it handed to them. Boom, 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 boom. This one was $600 billion taken off the table. Boom, right? Boom, little boom in here, little boom. So I've seen comments saying, why don't you ever talk about the pumps? You only talk about the dumps. Well, my problem is I know what these pumps are leading to. Now, I, I've suddenly, well, not suddenly, I've, I've realized why, like the economist Rubini and Peter Schiff, the gold guy, Peter Schiff, I understand now those guys' criticisms of Bitcoin. I think they're, they're wrong about Bitcoin, but I actually think they're kind of right about the, the structure that's being built around Bitcoin. Because this isn't cool, man. This this stuff about the Bitcoin ETF, it's not even an ETF. It's a futures ETF. And I made my last video. If you want to go back and watch my last video, I'll put a link down in the description. It's talking about every one of these, these dumps is almost, they're correlated with the ETF or with the, uh, the futures date, the futures club, the CMA, CME futures closing monthly closing date of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's been dumping down to it. These blue lines are roughly the last Friday every month. Um, here, it's been dumping down to it. There was a little change through here, through this area, but there was still there was still this dump here. It happened to dump away from at that time, so it was a little different. But all these dumps are correlated with the futures that they already have a futures product of CM, you know, the CME futures is already creating these massive dumps. So a futures ETF, it's not real Bitcoin, right? It's on the derivatives market as far as I'm aware. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Um, but it's not uh, its not real Bitcoin. And it's a futures ETF that's getting approved. And so I want to draw your attention to what's likely to happen. I, I don't want to watch those other channels about hype. I just, I can't stand watching them anymore. Um, I just know, <laughs> I just watched it happen over and over. So I, I just can't bear to watch another hype channel, not not tell their viewers what's really happening. So this is the all-time high. This is the Coinbase, Coinbase IPO. And Bitcoin had basically topped out. And right here, starting second week of April, was a big pump to the Coinbase IPO. That's kind of what's happening now. From here at about forty-eight thousand or so, this is an ETF news pump. So this was the biggest crash in the history of Bitcoin up and up until that point, as far as uh, not not percentage-wise, but as far as money, as far as value. Uh, it was beaten the next month by Elon Musk's dump, which also happened to correlate with the the futures closing. So I don't know is is a futures ETF actually something that we that Bitcoin really wants, right? It could just create more, <laughs> more, more downward. Well, I mean, it's hard to say, but the futures product in Bitcoin already is creating this massive manipulation, right? Manipulate is being manipulated to cause these price swings and they're mostly going down. So I, I don't know how that's going to work out, but uh, I do need to keep track of the, the news a little more closely because Bitcoin pumps off news. And that's basically what this pump is. This little one is probably Jerome Powell, the Fed, saying they're not banned Bitcoin. It's old news, but it still, still creates a pump. 
this this one here is basically all ETF. In my opinion, Bitcoin should not be pumping right now. There's no way it should be pumping. Um, it, it appears to me we're still, you know, this is still the cycle and it's still playing out. Um, unfortunately, it, it's not being allowed to dump because of the hype, the hype squads out there. Um, I would like to see it come down here and, and, and gain momentum. And then we get the next parabolic push probably up over a hundred thousand, but that's not, it's not being allowed to do that. This seems unnatural to me, but what I want doesn't matter. Let's just talk about what's happening. So be careful. This is likely going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news event. I didn't listen to the people trying to say that back here. I didn't listen, right? I didn't listen. So I'm short right now at the current moment. I'm short Bitcoin. I don't like shorting. I'm not going to teach anyone how to short. I don't I don't like I don't even like the idea of shorting, but I'm going to try to regain a little bit of what I lost here. Um, I use real low leverage, and I wasn't using a stop loss here. That's how I got got it handed to me. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to get some of my money back, and then later on when the price is low, I'm going to buy back and put that money back into the market. I don't even like taking money out of this market. There's just a big problem. Like $600 billion was taken out here, and that's kind of the reason why Bitcoin won't go real high is because – like Schiff and Rubini, that they're actually kind of right in one sense that this is a game of speculators, and they're basically taking the money away from the, the lesser experienced, which is basically the the public at large is basically losing, losing over and over and over and over. So, I just want to warn: this is likely a, a buy the news, a buy the rumor, sell the news. There's probably going to be a lot of profit taking. I'd be surprised if it goes over 60. It might. So what I'm doing, I'm I've, I'm just in for little a little tiny short position that I'm actually in right through here. And uh, but it's real low leverage. My liquidation price is way up here. It's 68,000. And if Bitcoin somehow breaks 60 and goes up and sets a new all-time high, I can just add a little more to my position and I can make my liquidation price way up here at 80,000, right? So uh, the thing about being in a short right now is the site I'm on is, is paying me to have that short open. In other words, the funding rate is positive. So I've are, I'm, I'm up about 13, 14, uh, yeah, about 13, 14% of my position. I'm, I'm I'm in profit, even though my short is underwater from right in through this area. Even though my trade is underwater, I still am a, a, a realized profit because they're paying me to keep that liquid in the market. So, you know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but lots of people knew, might not understand what I was doing through here. The way I do it is I just use real low leverage and I lay again with little tiny, little tiny trades. I lay again. And here I had life changing money or on the verge of it. And and I wasn't using a stop loss and, and I, I lost most of it right there in just a matter of like a week. So lesson learned. Use stop learn how to use stop losses. I thought because I was using low leverage, I, I didn't need to worry about it, but I didn't think I could dump 55% from the all-time high, and it did. I didn't think I could dump 50% no matter like a week, but it did. So, in other words, you know, one times leverage, 50% drop, you get liquidated. So, lesson learned. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I could be wrong. Make up your own mind, and but this is probably going to be. A massive dump coming. Maybe it's not super massive, but this one at the time, coming off the all-time all-time high, the Coinbase IPO. The following day, it started, and it was a massive, massive dump. Let's see, it was about twenty-eight percent, twenty twenty-nine percent, 
almost 30 percent so uh i'm not saying that's going to happen now for sure but 30 uh, percent let's say 28 29 percent would take us right back down to 41,000 where there is support so i wouldn't put that out of the realm of possibility but there could be so much hype over the next week or two uh this month that that maybe maybe bitcoin does come up higher i don't know but like i say my liquidation price is up over 60,000 uh 68,000 and if need be i can just add a little more and i can like i said you know i, I just pump it up here to 80,000 I, I highly think it's unlikely but the thing about being short right now and is that like i said is is i'm in a realized profit because they keep paying me for having it open right and i can just jerk up my liquidation price so i mean you know what what if i'm wrong and this isn't just a cycle paying out you know i i, I just i can't i can't see bitcoin going up to eighty thousand. It just doesn't seem possible. Watching this, I mean, watching this for just, this is the main reason why, right? Because they take profits. They're going to take profits, right? As you can see it happening over and over and over. I'm looking for a major profit-taking situation here. But, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not the amazing Kreskin, right? So I could be wrong, but... That's just how I'm playing it. I'm not saying for anyone to do it, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'm up about 13% realized profit while I'm down, while I'm underwater and unrealized profit. So I'm expecting it to come down and then I'll be in very large profit. But I can't stand shorting, but uh, I'm just, it's a speculator's game. So I'm just going to try to take a little bit back. And then down here, my, my plan has not changed. Wherever the bear market bottoms, wherever that happens to be, is where I'm going to get back in, hardcore, long positions. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, when my the my opinion changes, when the facts change, so you know later tonight maybe I'll have a different opinion. But the, uh, October 29th is the closure date, the CME Bitcoin closure where these big red cascading waterfalls dump down towards that date. So October 29th would be right about in here, in this vertical line on, this, on the time time going to the right. October 29th is where, where historically the CME futures is dumping downs towards. So watch out for maybe uh, next week, the 18th. Watch out for the weekend, but watch out for the 18th. After the ETF, uh, I, I don't know. It's There's a lot of different futures. They're all futures-based that are going to be approved, if they're approved. I, I, I don't think Gary Gensler at SEC, I do not think he's going to approve a legitimate Bitcoin ETF. I think it's going to be futures-based stuff and other, other uh, products that offer companies you know stock and companies that that own bitcoin that's not real bitcoin etf i don't think there's going to be a real bitcoin etf for quite a while but i could be wrong but uh just watch the news and and i just want to really warn people that uh this you could literally be walk, looking at maybe the second or third largest dump in the history of bitcoin as far as dollar value goes that could be on a near future. Just be careful. And I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.